Okay, again, good morning, everyone. Uh, thank you so much. So always so uh, grateful to see you this morning. It feels like the summer is turning into what in Sacramento we get is autumn, right? A little bit more clouds, right? So a little bit of change, changing of the season. So today we're celebrating two unificatious holy days. Um, God's eternal blessing and the cosmic Sabbath. So uh, I want to start out with a reading from uh, uh, Mother Moon's um, memoir, uh, Mother of Peace. And she starts out, actually in the preface, with uh, a prayer, uh, talking to God, our Heavenly Parent. So uh, let me read. My children ask me to bless their nations and religions. Before them and their peoples, I talk about you, our Heavenly Parent. I talk about Heavenly Mother, hidden behind Heavenly Father, and explain that if there is only an only begotten Son, there is an only begotten daughter. Without parents, there can be no harmony in the family. This is because parents are the center and origin of the family. Likewise, without you, the parent of humankind, there can be no peace in this world. So we read in the the, uh, unification teachings in the divine principle that Satan is actively working to build his own kingdom. Right? The kingdom of Satan in this world. And we see that God in his province has to allow Satan to first attempt. But without God nothing that Satan builds can last. As we, we see it in the environment, the world today, even though we see so many scary and unhealthy and dangerous trends, without God, they can't persist. They can't, can't continue. So as unificationists, we celebrate God's providence to move history forward. So this is what most of our church, our unificationist uh, holy days are about. Breakthroughs in God's providence for building the heavenly kingdom. So today we're celebrating these two. Um, The declaration of God's eternal blessing happened last Wednesday. Um, Actually, to to shorten it, we call it 7-1 day. Or in Korean, it's chill ill Joel. Right? So that's like the short version. And next Tuesday... um, will be the declaration of the realm of the cosmic Sabbath for the parent of heaven and earth. Yeah, we also call that Chil Paljol, which is seven, eight day. Chil Paljol and Chil Iljol. So uh, we celebrate this as part of our unification tradition to acknowledge and remember the breakthroughs that have happened in God's providence in God's effort to bring about and to create the heavenly kingdom uh, in this world. So let's look at just, want to look at them, uh, each one, briefly. So the Chil Iljol, the Declaration of God's Eternal Blessing, it happened in 1991. And that was quite an amazing time, actually, in, in world history. Um, and Father Moon made a number of declarations uh, of Proclaiming that foundations for building the kingdom were had been established in 1990, just a year before, uh, Gorb- uh, Father Mother Moon met with uh, Gorbachev, the head of the Soviet Union, and the doors opened up so that actually we could have workshops and conferences in the Soviet Union, teaching divine principle to university students, and. Um, So, Father Moon proclaimed in this Chil El Declaration that the foundation had been laid for the free and the communist world to find unity. As I said, we had these workshops in in, in the Soviet Union. Hard to imagine. And even just a year later, uh, Father and Mother Moon were able to meet with Kim Il-sung, the leader of the communist uh, nation in North Korea. So, what a, a bold proclamation, because you know, in uh, 1991, no one was expecting the, the Soviet Union would just would collapse in the very, very next year. 
In addition to the foundation to unite the free world and the communist world, Father Moon proclaimed it was a foundation to unite all the different spheres of religion and politics to create that foundation of relationships between fighting brothers, right? He also said it was the foundation for us to move into a new world of peace. The foundation had been laid and so many things, especially the resentment of Cain, was being liberated. And finally, he proclaimed the mission of tribal messiahships. He declared all of us to have the mission of messiahs to our tribes. So this was the foundation that God could claim because of the efforts and work that had been done. This is, uh, this is from, uh, you know, in the Declaration of God's Eternal Blessing. This speech is a speech that um, Mother Moon gave uh, in Japan just a, a few months after, uh, after the, the declaration, the Chill Joel uh, declarations. And Mother Moon, as, the, uh, as true mother, we call her true mother, and as the God's second Eve, and the only begotten daughter, right, uh, of heavenly parent, spoke to the Japanese members about the mission of Japan as the Eve nation. And the challenges that the Eve nation has, because the Eve nation stands as a mother nation to care for others. And she shared very artistically how much she appreciated and understood the sacrificial nature of the Eve or mother's position. And she gave lots of encouragement uh, to the members. It's, it's a short but very heartfelt message. I encourage you. It's, it's in the, um, uh, Mother Moon's anthology. Uh, actually, it's in the, in the second book. And the, the name of the uh, message was The Mission of Eve. So she also spoke about these recent providential breakthroughs. So let me read. Mother Moon says, Through his historic meetings and conferences in Moscow in 1990, True Father completed the restoration of the first son on the worldwide level and proclaim through this through Chan Il Joel. Chil Il Joel. That is why from now on the Cain realms on the family, race, nation, and worldwide levels will slowly collapse. She continues, True Father is now emphasizing returning to our hometowns in order to connect the restoration of the right of the eldest son to the restoration of the right of parents. And then later she says, what remains for us to do is to build the kingdom of heaven on earth and in heaven by restoring the right of the king. So our inheritance, our culture is a culture of tribal messiahs. We have the raw condition to bring healing, to bring harmony in the world and in the environment around us. So no more can we claim to be, oh, I'm the victim and I'm waiting just for God to save me. God's our partner, right? God is working with us, right? We are messiahs. Not the big messiahs, but the tribal messiahs to our neighbors, to our community, to the family, uh, you know, our relatives. We have the raw conditions to deal with the conflict between political parties. Whoa, that's a big one, especially talking now, you know, from the left and the right wing, right? We're a head wing. We have the condition, the foundation to bring harmony between peoples of different faiths. Being able to be a bridge and bring, seeing the value and the good in all of these world's great religions. Uh, between, within the family, in social relationships. We're in a position to liberate the people who have been in pain and filled with resentment. We, we, Father Moon spoke about the resentment of Cain. Liberating Cain's painful and jealous heart. And to live in harmony with the natural world and things of creation. 
So this is the, the declaration of God's eternal blessing. It's when we were proclaimed to be tribal messiahs, as well as the foundation for building the heavenly kingdom. And then the second one that we're celebrating is Chilpaljol, the declaration of the realm for the cosmic Sabbath for the parents of heaven and earth. And that was in 1987. So the Sabbath, the Sabbath is a day of rest. And when Father Moon spoke about this, he talks about God's suffering heart. And that since the fall, no one has been thinking about God and God's heart. And how can I comfort God? The meaning of the day of rest for God, the cosmic Sabbath for God, is that God can now be a grandparent. He can rest and enjoy, just like grandparents are supposed to enjoy their grandkids. Right? So, two parents proclaim, along with this, that the blessing of marriage was open to the world. Previously, the only, only couples that could participate in the blessing of marriage, the changing of the lineage, were unificationists. But with this, Father opened up the door to non-unificationists as well as the entire spiritual world. Actually, in 1987, we had the uh, RFK Stadium, right? B marriage blessing event. Uh, 3.6 million participating. And that expanded to 336 million and eventually to 360 million around the world and the spiritual world. So this is actually the beginning about uh, of the blessing of marriage movement. So here's some of uh, Father Moon's words. This is from the, the book called uh, May You Blossom My Beloved. Father Moon's words talking about uh, Mother Moon. And he's talking about all the things that led up to being able to make this declaration of the realm of the cosmic Sabbath for God. So he, he's talking about in Korea. Father Moon says, True Mother held leadership conferences for the practice of true family life to advance world peace in 18 cities, which opened the door to invite high-ranking officials to the blessing. However, because there's been so much opposition to the blessing in Korea over the past 40 years, the Unification Church in Korea has become rather stagnant. Right? So the movement was stumbling, had become still not so active. So what does uh, Father Moon do? Mother to the rescue. Right? Father Moon continues, he says, but the way it works is with heaven's blessings is that if you don't establish a record of your accomplishments, that's as in conditions or making actions, the blessings do not come. The situation was desperate. So I sent Mother on three speaking tours in Korea to create a revival so that Korea can take the lead in the family blessing. On that foundation, we could proclaim the realm of cosmic Sabbath of the parents of heaven and earth. So, God is now able to rest and be comforted because God has tribal messiahs like you and me. Right? Tribal messiahs who can connect God's children back to God, our heavenly parent, through the marriage blessing. Regardless of their religious tradition or their background or their nationality, we can connect them to the lineage of God through the blessing of marriage. This was another incredible breakthrough in God's province of restoration and healing. Wow. Right? So, let's look at these two days. The providential declarations, the Chil El Joel, you know, the declaration of God's eternal blessing was a declaration that we are tribal messiahs. We inherit that role and God entrusts that to us. We have the raw condition, the power to bring healing between people who are in conflict. Different political parties, different religions, different races, different cultures. 
and to bring unity in, in all things. We're in this position. So God has entrusted us and is entrusting us and encouraging us, right? It's who we are. This is our true identity. We are tribal messiahs. And then with the Chil Paljol Declaration, the re- Declaration of the Realm of the Cosmic Sabbath, we receive the gift to give the blessing of marriage to the world. The blessing, the door to the blessing is open. So we're the ones that can now raise up and lift up marriage and family as the highest value. We are the advocates that God is counting on to lift up the importance, the preciousness, and the value of marriage and family, which is facing another challenge, even in in our, our modern time. So we're the ones to lift up that importance and that value. We are the ones as tribal messiahs that can share that blessing of marriage to the world and bring healing through the power of the blessing of marriage. So, let me read this. This is from Mother Moon. This is again from uh, her anthology. This is an excerpt from a speech. She gave this in in Las Vegas. Um, But it was content that she also gave um, earlier to the House of Parliament in London. And also, and after that, she would give a similar speech in Japan to uh, Japanese members. So, uh, let, me, let me read. Mother Moon says, please bear in mind, actually in the other speeches, she says, inscribe it in your heart. You know, write it into your heart, right? That we have entered the era of the authority of the cosmic Sabbath of true love. This is the era in which up to eight generations can live together joyfully in a single home based on the vision of one peaceful human family. In other versions, she also emphasizes the spirit world can now descend and work with us. The world of one family under God where all people are equal and all nations are brothers and sisters is unfolding before your eyes. So we are the ones that God is counting on. We live in an amazing time right now. The time of the cosmic Sabbath. So we are the ones that can bring that healing. So here's the conclusion of uh, of Mother's memoir. And I want to close with this. The dawn of a new history is growing brighter. Through the manifestation of the only begotten daughter in the province of restoration, humanity has new hope. We are completing heaven's providence, reaching our global village with the message of the mother of peace. Vision 2020 brought us to the mountaintop. Now, let us greet the rising sun with all our hearts. Let us advance together into the bright, new, hopeful era of the settlement of God's kingdom. Chano Gook. Please join me in prayer. Father, Mother God, our, our loving Heavenly Parent, we are so grateful for your presence in our lives and for the way that you're working in the world around us. We know you have so much hope that this time in history, finally, the breakthroughs that you've been longing to see can truly happen. And at the same time, we know that that Satan in the fallen world is making every effort to block your path, to block the way. Heavenly Parent, we pray that we can continue to be strong and have courage, Heavenly Parent. Where there's fear, please fill us with your love and your heart and your devotion. Continually remind us, Heavenly Parent, of the identity that you've given us, you've called us to be tribal messiahs, to be representatives of you that can multiply blessing and healing and especially share the gift of the blessing of marriage with the world around us. 
Heavenly Parent, we thank you so much. And so today, as we're celebrating Cho Iljo and Cho Paljo, we want you to find joy in our celebrations. We want to find you in all that we do. Heavenly Parent, thank you so much. And we offer up ourselves to you, determined to bring the fulfillment of all the potential that we inherit. In the names of, of, of us as blessed central families, your children, amen and adieu.